Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn today, apply the mathematical concepts in solving the fundamental operations on integers and show mastery in performing addition and subtraction of integers. So let's get started. So let's talk about operations on integers. So let's have a short history about the integers. So there was no exact record as to when ordered numeration systems started. But the Hindu-Arabic system had been around for at least 2,000 years which is the international standard and are even used until today. So when we say natural numbers, so these are numbers used for counting and ordering. So these are also known as counting numbers. So, ito yung unang itinuturo sa mga bata, yung pagbibilang. So, ang symbol ng natural numbers is N, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So, those are sets of a natural number. So, when we say whole numbers, used hundreds of years before the number systems were introduced. So, compared to a natural number, ang whole numbers included dito yung zero. And then, ang kanyang symbol ay capital W. So, itong counting number and whole number is until today ay ito yung pinaka-basic no, ng isa sa mga basic sa math lessons. In the study of operations on the set of whole numbers, we learn that adding any two whole numbers will result in a unique whole number. Example, 1 plus 1 equals 2 and 8 plus 5 equals to 13. So, these are drills and practice during elementary days. Pag-a-add at pag subtract ng mga whole numbers. However, this is not always possible with subtraction. Subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number result in an answer that is not a whole number. So this led mathematicians to invent a new set of numbers, the integers. So there comes a time kasi na it seems na hindi siya posible na i-add or i-subtract. But then again, integers were invented so that possible na i-add or i-subtract kapag siya ay negative. So, wherein integers is consisting of a positive numbers, zero, and a negative numbers. So, that will be our focus for today. So, how to add an integers? So, the sum of two positive integers is a positive integer. A positive integer may or may not have a positive symbol written before its number. So, kailan kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng sum na hindi positive yung symbol? So, yun nga yung pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-add ng integers wherein the result is not a positive but it's negative. To add a positive and a negative integer, so how about adding one is positive and then the other one is negative? So we need to follow these steps. 1. Find the absolute value of each integer. 2. Subtract the smaller number from the larger number. And 3. Then the sign of your final answer will be copied from the integer with the greater absolute value. So this is a systematic way on how to add integers one is positive and then the other one is negative. But, but I think there are some rules or tricks and techniques on how to remember on adding integers that is a positive and a negative integer. Okay, so let's have examples. Find the sum of number 1, 3, and 7. Number 2, 
16 and 59 3 negative 4 and 9 5 sorry 4 73 and negative 90 and last negative 4 and negative 3 so we will be finding those sum of a given numbers so let's start with adding 3 and 7 so basically we just add both positive numbers and the result is also a positive so 3 plus 7 the sum is 10 so there's no problem with our first example we just add both positive numbers and then the result is also a positive second one is 16 plus 59 so what we did on our first example we just add 16 plus 59 and then the result is positive 75 so how about the third example so our third example one is negative and then the other one is positive so what you are going to do is you need to get the absolute value of the negative so that is negative 4 plus 9 equals and then you just subtract 9 and 4 because uh, you, uh, we need to subtract the bigger one to the smaller one and then we copy the higher absolute value or the greater absolute value which is 9 so therefore 9 minus 4 the answer is positive 5 so why positive? kasi ang sign ng malaki ay positive which is yung 9 okay so let's have another example Okay, for our next example, uh, one is positive and then the other one is negative. So we just get the absolute value of negative 90. That is positive 90 and then we need to subtract 90 minus 73. And then we just copy the sign negative. Kasi mas malaki yung 90 sa so 73 and the sign of 90 is negative. So 90 minus 73 equals to 17. The sum is negative. negative 17 again we just get the absolute value of 90 and then we need to subtract 90 minus 73 17 the, uh, the sign is negative how about uh, adding both negative numbers so we just get the absolute value of negative 4 and negative 3 that is 4 plus 3 and then like sign add and then copy the sign so 4 plus 3 is 7 and then copy lang natin yung sign which is negative again when adding both negative numbers you just get the absolute value of the two numbers then you just add and then copy the sign so 4 plus 3 equals to negative 7 so that's how we add integers we're into our positive both are negatives and then one is positive and then the other one is negative so remember the sum of two negative integers is a negative now let's move to subtraction of integers in subtracting two positive integers when the subtrahend is smaller than the minuend the difference is always positive in subtracting the two positive integers when the subtrahend is smaller than the minuend the difference is always positive example find the difference of 6 from 10 so we have 10 minus 6 equals to 4 so basically we just subtract mas mataas yung nasa unahan so that is 10 minus 6 equals to 4 so the answer is positive so kabalik tara naman in subtracting two positive integers kapag naman mas malaki yung subtrahend kaysa sa minuend the difference is always negative Example, 15 from 7. So, we just subtract 7 minus 5. That is 8. The sign is negative. Kasi mas malaki yung pangalawang numbers. Or kung saang number siya isusubtract. So, yun lang yung tatandaan. Kapag mas malaki yung nasa unahan, positive. Kapag mas malaki yung nasa uh, dulo or yung pangalawa, the answer is negative. So, that's how we subtract. In subtracting integers, 
change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to the rule of addition. Example, 9 from negative 4. So, find the difference of 9 from negative 4. So, that is negative 4 minus positive 9. So, we just get the absolute value of negative 4 plus yung 9 natin ay magiging negative 9. So, we need to change the sign from positive 9 naging negative 9 and then proceed to addition. So, kung mapapansin, parehas na siyang negative. Katulad sa rule, we just get the absolute value of 4 and 9 and then add and then kopyahin natin yung sign. So, 4 plus 9 equals to 13 and then the sign is negative. So, our final answer is negative 13. Again, we just change the sign of the subtrahend. So, yung 9 naging negative 9. So, parehas na negative yung i-add. You just uh, add 4 and 9 and then you just copy the sign. So, it will become negative 13. Next, find the difference of negative 3 from negative 12. So, that is negative 12 minus negative 3. So, we just change the sign of the subtrahend. So, it will become negative 12 plus 3. Again, yung negative 3 naging positive 3, then proceed to addition. So, paano ba mag-add ng negative and positive? We just subtract and then copy the sign of the higher absolute value. So, 12 minus 3. So, what's the answer? 12 minus 3 is 9. And then, the answer is negative 9. Again, I-change lang natin yung sign ng negative 3. So, it will become positive 3. Then, proceed sa addition. So, unlike sign, subtract. So, 12 minus 3 is 9. And then, kopyahin yung sign no my greater absolute value, which is yung negative 12. Therefore, our answer is negative 9. So, let's have our last example. Negative 7 from 15. So, that is 15 minus negative 7. So, change the sign of the subtrahend. Then, proceed to addition. So, that is 15 plus negative 7 will become positive 7. So, basically, we just add two positive numbers. So, 15 plus 7 equals to 22. So, that's how we add and subtract integers systematically. So, I presented the rules and the concept notes to remember when adding and subtracting both positive numbers, adding and subtracting both negative numbers, and adding and subtracting numbers wherein one is positive and then the other one is negative. So, I want you to get your pen and paper for you to have your practice test. So, you have 10 items to answer as what I've uh, want you to have the values of honesty and integrity. So, good luck answering and God bless you. So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.